Hey, good morning everybody. Um, it's a beautiful Friday uh, morning. I'm about to go for a ride as well. But I thought I'd make a quick video uh, on what's the difference between a hard tail and a soft tail. Are you a soft person or a hard person? Well, a lot of people are going soft tail these days. Um, it's just more forgiving, longer rides are more appreciated. But there's some bonuses in a hard tail as well. Um, a hard tail is pretty aggressive. Um, you have to be, and it's also a lot cheaper to maintain than that of a um, full suspension. As you can see, there is no working part to the back of the bike. Um, also, um, with a full suspension, you it's more forgiving because you can actually hit the trails a little bit harder and the bike will do all the work and the back end will be predictive um, and make sure your back end is more planted all the time. But with a hard tail, it isn't, it isn't like that. You have to be more precise where you put your back wheel. You have to be more uh, selective what you ride. Um, <laughs> my dog's losing the plot, hang on. So you have to be more um, precise of which line you choose. <laughs> They're not letting me rest. <laughs> Right, um, after the shouting has stopped. Um, so yes, your bike um, handling skills need to obviously improve, but you can ride harder and you can, for instance, um, um, I don't know, you can get out the saddle a lot quicker without your back end you know, sinking in. Uh, I just feel that with my hard tail, I can have a lot more fun. Um, I can, for instance, um, I know where my back end is all the time. Where with a soft tail, your back end is kind of a swishy. Well, it depends on which bike you ride. Every bike has a different feeling. Um, you, that's why most of the Enduro, Dino bikes, also cross country bikes, are full suspension. But the pros, uh, depending on the route, they choose the hard tails versus the over their soft tails. Uh, Julian Upsilon always had two to three bikes with him, and um, depending on the course of the World Championships, he chose that bike for the ride. Um, but today I'm going to be riding my hardtail, as you guys can see, it's the green one. Um, I haven't had it for a while because I needed um, new bling bling for it. I needed new cassette, new chain. But um, yeah, it's also, like I said, it's a lot cheaper to maintain. But again, each to their own. Um, for longer days in the saddle, uh, you want a soft tail, obviously, full suspension. And also, you want, uh, if you're not, you have more info for the comfort of the ride, this full suspension is the way to go, 100%. No, um, it's a lot softer on the body or softer on the kidneys. Um, you know, so it's not so hard, but if you want to have fun, a hard tail definitely will provide art, uh, uh, all the fun that you require. GMBN, the Global Mountain Biking Channel uh, or Network, um, they covered this already. Uh, Blake Sampson uh, covered hard tail or soft tail. And, um, and he went down Whistler with his hard tail and he had just as much fun. Granted, he, he couldn't hit some of the jumps or the areas as well as he wanted to, but he still did those. It was scary, but he did. And it, prove, it proves to you that a, a hard tail can go as well as hard as a soft tail can. But um, I'll see you guys again when I'm busy riding my hard tail and I do another uh, little video on that. Um, but I'm, I'll see you guys later on the trail. Now the question should be asked, why would you choose a hardtail of a full suspension? A couple of reasons for that. If financially strapped, makes sense, they're cheaper, a lot cheaper. Maintenance, again, a lot cheaper. You get more bang for your buck with a hardtail. Yeah, and also very simple to maintain, to look after. 
very little can go wrong. If it can, you know how to fix it. Also, you might, you might feel that your skill level is not up to scratch yet for a full suspension. So you buy a single, buy a hardtail. Um, a big learning curve when you come to a full suspension. Something to get used to. Why would you want to buy a full suspension? Well, there's a few reasons. Comfort, you're starting to race, you find your riding getting more technical, you are liking the downhills, which is more technical, rocky, rooty. Um, yeah, it's more progression than anything else. Where, where would you go from a hotel? You go for a full suspension, and there are several variables in, or various varieties in um, full suspension bikes you can choose from. You can go cross country, cross country Olympics, enduro, uh, downhill, or mountain. It's all up to you to decide what you want to ride and how do you want to ride it. So, again, I think it's more all about progression. You learn on a hardtail and then you move over to a full suspension. I think I live in a terrible place. With views like this, I don't know how I deal with it. I want to tell you, it's a tough life. I'm struggling. Now that little section, I would have bombed down with my full suspension and not worried about the rocks. But with hardtail, it's a little more technical than that. You bounce everywhere, so you have to be very careful where you place or you choose your lines. There's a flood or something down here. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. Uh, I'm gonna feel that one in the morning. Woo, that was close. So, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with hardtails or full suspensions. It's what you prefer, what you can afford. So if you if you ride a hardtail or a full suspension, put it in the link on top, see what you ride and if you ride a hardtail or full suspension, put in the comments why you like it. Because it's a personal preference at the end of the day. What you like, what you ride, how you ride, it's all personal preferences. So in the comments below, why do you prefer about a hardtail or full suspension? 
and if you ride a hard tail full suspension put it on top uh, thanks for coming around with my ride I hope you guys have a good day and um, I'll see you on the next ride have a good evening